Hi, everybody. Welcome to this edition of Lunch with the Mayor. We have all kinds of food to eat here with uh, Elisa Bender, but actually we're here to promote the Hispanic Festival on June 24th and 25th. What's that all about? We are actually really excited to be back again this year, Mayor. Um, we're really excited to have the live Latino bands, folkloric dancers. We're also going to have authentic foods from different countries, arts and crafts, and children's uh, a children's area with crafts and inflatables. So we're really excited to be back again this year. Those that have been to the Hispanic Festival in the past know that we have all kinds of uh, Latin American food choices uh, from all different countries. Name some of the countries that are going to be represented this year, if you can remember some. Yeah, Mexico, of course, and Bolivia, and Honduras, and Argentina. Um, those are some of the countries that will be represented. Uh, we have the Argentinans, the tango actually it's called. He's one of those where people seek out. Uh, people love his empanadas, so we'll have empanadas from Argentina. And from Mexico, we'll have some tacos, as you can see here, actually. Some pork tacos. Um, it's where they make it outside and barbecue it and shave it down. It's really, really good. Uh, we're also going to have, from Honduras, bambusas and tamales. We'll have tamales, and there's some tamales here, actually, too, from Mexico. But uh, Mexicans make different tamales than they do in Honduras, than they do in Panama. So they're all a little different. So we're going to have a lot of different food from a lot of different countries. And this, of course, is one of my favorites. This is called pan dulce, um, a sweet. And we've got empanadas and cookies. Some of the cookies here they call um, in English elephant ears because they look like elephant ears. They're cute. But we are going to have a lot of food from a lot of countries, and we're really excited. And then in addition to the food, people will remember the uh, music all day long and, and into the evening. Uh, tell us what kind of uh, examples of different cultural uh, performances that we'll be seeing. We actually have a wide range of entertainment this year. We've got dancers from Mexico, and we get dancers from Venezuela and Panama. And we also are going to have a couple different, actually something totally new. We're going to have a salsa contest up on stage. We're inviting some local people to come over and who makes the best salsa. So we're going to, that's something different we're going to do this year. Uh, we're also going to have some bands with us. We're going to have a salsa band Saturday night, Son Montun. They have the, the drums, the bangos. They are really good. So anyone can bring their dancing shoes and come dance all night long Saturday night. Uh, on Sunday, we're going to have a Mexican band come perform, and they'll be playing a lot of um, music where, like cumbias, and where they, a lot of the people like to come out and dance. So we've got a lot going on in the stage this year. Okay, so we have uh, salsa contest is new. I, also, uh, is the car show new? Is that a new thing? Actually, no. This is okay. the third year, I believe, that we're having this car show. We have partnered with Dedicated Car Club, who most of the members actually are here, live here in Florissant. Um, and they are going to be a car show on Saturday, starts at noon, but you can have all kinds of different things. You can have uh, low riders, Corvettes, um, a bunch of different types of cars. They're going to give away some prizes and awards okay. with it as well. So. And then, uh, this is, is this the second year for the fashion show? It is, actually. Okay. And you know, we haven't done the fashion show in a few years, the Quintinera fashion show. We did it um, about three or four years ago. And actually, it went over really well. For those of, for those who aren't sure what that is, um, quinceanera is a celebration when a young lady turns 15. Kind of like a sweet oh. 16, but this is more like a sweet 15. Okay. And it's almost similar to a wedding. They have gorgeous, beautiful dresses. Um, they do a service in church. Uh, then there's a big party afterwards. So these gowns that are beautiful, the parents pay a lot of money for. Uh, we're going to have a lot of the daughters come out, wear them, and even from some, maybe even some from local shops, but we're going to have a fashion show with all these beautiful dresses. Kind of like the Jewish have the bat mitzvah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, at age 13, I think. Yeah. And yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the purpose of the fair is to promote, is to raise money for scholarships and those that are less fortunate. Right. Well, we always are trying to give back to the community, and we are a non for profit, but we always think it's, you know, what else can we do to give back? So one of the things that um, we do is award a college scholarship. And we actually award it at the Fiesta Florissant. So we're really excited. Uh, we're not sure who's going to get the award yet. Deadline's um, June 19th. But 
uh, yeah, we award a thousand dollar scholarship to a local student going to four year college. And another thing we try to do with our funds is uh, two th two other things. We try to adopt uh, families at the end of the year during holiday time mm -hmm. who are less fortunate. And we actually even do something called Dia de los Reyes, which is um, a holiday that they celebrate in the Latin South America. And that's a time where we give away toys and um, gifts and things to the community as well. The uh, Hispanic community has really assimilated well in the St. Louis area. And uh, we have uh, a number of a growing population in North County and uh, in Florissant uh, and some of the other communities also. Uh, and uh, also one thing that uh, we have kind of a melting pot obviously because your last name is Bender yes. <laughs> and then uh, we have uh, other people that uh, have uh, you know they're Hispanic uh, uh, but they've married into yes. uh, the Euro Americans mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, uh, like uh, Miss Hilberg yes she's very <laughs> in instrumental on this she is. Who, is there some other names that you would like to mention that are very instrumental in this or in this uh, event well you know what's great about our event though it is the Hispanic Festival Fiesta and Florissant those who are part of our committee, it's very diverse. We have um, those who are Caucasian, we actually have African Americans and Hispanics all around because, you know, we're all somehow related to each other and we try to get different aspects for our event. You know, what is it like when someone else of a different community comes to our event? So, you know, we have several people, Bonnie Parks, Noah Avila, um, Victor Espinoza, we have a lot of people, there's probably about 12 to 15 of us who mm -hmm. uh, coordinate these things during the year. And what's great is we're all volunteers. This is a volunteer run, non-for-profit. So all of us hold full-time jobs and uh, we just love doing things that expose the Hispanic culture. So this is almost like my part-time job. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Florissant uh, was founded uh, by Spain when they uh, had the Louisiana Territory. And it was Frenchmen li lived here, and then Germans came, and then uh, Irish and other nationalities. Mm -hmm. And it's really been a good blend of different people. We've Our demographic, demographics have changed for over 200 years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but we've always had uh, a quality about us that ha makes it much easier, and that is... Uh, something that St. Philip and Duchenne noticed about Florissant, and she told Father de Smet, the famous Jesuit priest, that she loved Florissant because they had the quality of hospitality. And I think the Hispanic Festival uh, personifies that hospitality where we really don't care what continent somebody came from, we just care that people are wholesome and having a good time and enjoying each other's company. Yeah. Lots of Hispanic uh, hospitality on June 24th and mm -hmm. 25th. Uh, Tell us the hours and, and so forth. And we're going to be at, at the Knights of Columbus Park again. Yes, Knights of Columbus Park, June 24th from 10 to 10, okay. and then the 25th that Sunday from 11 to 8. All right. Anything else that we didn't cover? Uh, maybe just some of the cute little crafts we have on the table. Okay. We have a few crafts from Mexico and Bolivia. Uh, all these things are actually handmade by the natives in the country. So this is just a little sample of some of the things that'll be there. Some purses, some wall art, uh, coasters, cups. Um, you'll definitely find a lot of clothing at our, mm -hmm. at our uh, festival as well. The ladies like all the clothes. At least I understand we have some uh, entertainment here, a sampling of what we're going to see uh, later in June. Uh, what do you have for us? We actually have a dance today for you from Oaxaca called Flor de Piña. And then we also have another dance for you from Jalisco called Harapa Tapatio. Great. I'm really excited. All right. Enjoy this, everybody.
Well, gr thank you very much, Alicia. Thanks for uh, being with us today. Mm -hmm. And we look forward to uh, less than a month. We're yes. going to have the Hispanic Festival once again here in the beautiful city of Florissant.